Welcome back to another video on MotoGP Mech and in today's video I'm going to talk about what I believe happened between Armico and the VR46 racing team. Now we all know that Italian Farm Moonies have stepped in to take over the sponsorship of the race team for MotoGP and also for Moto2. However, you know, it was really really strange in my opinion what happened with Armico because you know, the prince came out and he said, yes, everything is in order, everything is going to happen. We're going to transfer 18 million dollars or pounds on, or euros on Tuesday. And the shit then seemed to hit the fan and no one really knows what happened, but you know, reading between the lines myself, one of the things I definitely noticed was, I think that the prince wanted Rossi to ride in the team and when Rossi was stood firm, I suppose, on his retirement decision, I really think that caused a major, major problem because, you know, it wasn't just the sponsorship deal of the Moto2 team and the MotoGP team that Armaco were doing. It was also, there was more endorsements within Saudi Arabia and building stuff for VR46 there. But again, I think a lot of that was down to Rossi being in the right, I think a lot of that was down to Rossi riding in the team rather than Rossi not riding in the team and just kind of taking a side view or a management view. Now everyone kind of knows that when the VR46 Academy was going Rossi kind of stood back and stood out of the operation. He was there for the riders doing you know, what the ranch and all of this but you know he stood back from the operational side of the team and I think this was also uh, a factor in Amarco in eventually not pulling or not funding the teams was you know there was going to be no presence of Rossi either as a writer as or as a team principal or team manager so therefore you know realistically they were paying 18 million euros you know for being a part of Rossi's team but not actually having Rossi there so I think you know that did cause a bit of friction and you know not taking anything away from Luca Marini or Bisecchi but you know so it would be worth paying the 18 million to sponsor Rossi whereas not with them because they're not going to give the global endorsement that Rossi would so therefore it's probably not their, worth their money um, but like I do think the whole situation was really really weird um, you know that the, the prince announcing it you know his secretary or his ministers of state saying no it has to go through uh, local announcements first and then it can go worldwide which is probably true in the way that they do launch things but you know then look with Mooney's coming in you know sponsoring both the MotoGP team and the Moto2 team and um, it's good and uh, also they will be sponsoring Rossi's race car adventures whatever he does do I know he's signed for a GT team quite recently but I think there will be Mooney branding on that as well as any other cars that he does drive in the coming months and years as well while they might while Mooney's are the main sponsor of the VR46 team um, it's definitely an interesting thing of what happened and you know I so I'm sure it's something that we will never actually find out the complete truth but I would definitely lay my bets on that the Prince thought that Rossi was going to ride um, for the team and as soon as they found out that he was not in, going to ride for the team at all then they actually pulled the plug straight away but I'd love to know your thoughts let's have a conversation about it reply back to the comments normally within a few minutes of them being left so definitely want to hear your thoughts what you think um, and uh, yeah so I'll be back again tomorrow with another video I hope you liked today's video and if you want to see my face there is two conditions either I get to 5,000 subscribers or else I get to host on Keith Ewan's Crash.net podcast. So let's make it happen if you want to see my face. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, Mac out.